Hi, my name is Jacob, and today I wanted to talk to you about video conferencing. Just like many of you, my whole workflow changed once the pandemic hit last year. And on a normal day before the pandemic, I would be out uh, in face-to-face -face meetings multiple times a day, and that all went online, and I ended up uh, having one to five uh, video conferencing uh, sessions. I was in Zoom or FaceTiming uh, with clients uh, constantly throughout the day. I was just using a regular laptop uh, with the internal microphone and uh, um, webcam, so my video and audio was pretty poor. So I just want, wanted to step up my game and uh, come up with a system that was a lot more professional. And uh, I'm gonna walk you through what I built and if you're planning on doing the same thing and setting up a professional Zoom uh, system, then uh, hopefully you can uh, learn something here or take away bits and pieces of it. Um, let's get into it. So I first wanted to say all of the items to build this system you'll find in the description below. You'll find Amazon links there. So the system is built into two sections. You have the video and then you have the audio. So let's go over the video first and what it takes to capture quality video for teleconferencing. You need good lights and you need a good capture device. And the lights that I'm using are by a company called Newer, and I have a couple soft boxes on them. My goal was to have lights that were ready to go, and all I had to do was just flick a switch, and they would turn on, and I would have quality lighting. So I put these lights on desk mountable stands, and there's a power bar underneath my desk. Uh, the lights just plug into those, and they're always ready to go. And the second part of it is the capture device, which I had a professional camera, so you definitely don't have to go to this extreme, but having a professional camera is going to give you very crisp quality video. And, you know, this camera um, is the Sony a6600. It produces for a 4k image, which is just really nice when you're teleconferencing. And the key to setting up a camera, is to use a capture device. Um, I use something called the Elgato CamLink, and it takes an HDMI feed out of my camera. It go uh, the feed goes into the Elgato CamLink, and then that connects directly to my computer, and that's how I capture the image. So the second part of my teleconferencing system is the audio. You know, it's great to have good video, but it's just as important to have really good audio when you're teleconferencing. And this microphone is a professional microphone by a company called Deity, and it's called the S-Mic 2. And most professional microphones, they have uh, an input called XLR, and they also need power. So you need a preamp, and the one that I'm using is the Mix Pre 3. So this Mix Pre 3, it powers my microphone, it also accepts the signal, and then it also works as the interface to connect directly to my computer. And if you're bringing this all into a uh, software such as Zoom, uh, when you open up Zoom and you go into the options, you can select the Mix Pre 3 as your microphone input, and then you can select your camera using the Elgato uh, CamLink. And that's how you put this all together. So. I do have a couple small tips for you that will help improve your teleconferencing system when you set it up. Um, so when you're having a conversation with someone, you want it to look like you're actually looking directly at them or looking um, right at their face. So how I do this is I set up my laptop right underneath my camera and I use a laptop stand that's adjustable so I can bring it right up to my camera lens and that way, um, it looks like I'm looking uh, directly at them and not at a screen to the side. So that's one thing that helps. 
Also, if you want to take this to the next level where uh, you look like you're looking directly into to their eyes, there is a system that you could set up, but that's a whole nother video and it's a whole video in itself. Uh, maybe I'll do that uh, in the near future. You can use a system such as this. Uh, if you have a teleprompter and uh, a second screen, I have a little monitor and a teleprompter. This just fits directly over your camera lens. And if you connect to this uh, second monitor, this monitor can produce an image which bounces off of the mirror on the teleprompter. So you can see the person that you're having a conversation with and look directly at them and look directly into the uh, camera. So, so this is taking it to a whole another level. But uh, like I said, this is a video in itself and I'll probably do a video on this uh, in the future. I don't use it that often just because um, I need my system to be a little bit more dynamic. I'm switching, um, uh, between work mode and teleconferencing and uh, sometimes I'm taking my computer away and going upstairs so I don't want the bulk of having a teleprompter on all the time but uh, that's uh, something that you could set up if you um, found it really important if you're doing teaching online or you're having an interview or something um, uh, that's really important then you might want to use a system like this. So a second tip that I have for you is when you're setting up a more complex teleconferencing system such as this, you have a lot more peripherals and your computer may not have enough connections for these. And even if it does, um, you know, you, your desk can get really messy with wires. Um, I clean everything up using a Thunderbolt 3 dock. Um, it has a lot of ports. So you just plug everything in the back and um, it keeps all the wires out of the way, keeps your desk tidy, and one wire connects into your computer and it connects everything uh, all at once. And it makes it easy to disconnect your computer if you're using a laptop and reconnect it, especially if you wanna you know, uh, unplug it and work around um, at different locations around the house. Um, yeah, it just makes it easier and cleans up the whole system and makes it a lot easier to use. So, so I'm just gonna finish off by showing you some images of my system. Hopefully this answers any questions you may have about how I put this all together. If you have specific questions for me, uh, feel free to comment below or uh, send me an email. Um, if you're in the middle of uh, building your own system, would love to hear about it as well in the comments. Um, or if you have uh, feedback about mine, um, would love to hear from you. And uh, hope you have a great day. See you in the next one.